This is a cool vocal trick that I think most producers should know. If you've got a dry vocal like this, I've got to take a little time, a little time to think things over. Obviously, what you want to do then is add some reverb or some delay. In this particular instance, I want to add quite a lot of delay because I think the delay would sound good with this. So what I've got is two return tracks. I've got a reverb and delay return track. And the second one is delay. So we're just going to take the second send and just increase that almost to zero. So we're going to bring in basically the whole delay. I've got to take, I've got a, take a little time. time. A little time, a little time. So we want lots of delay, but you can hear that it's clashing with the vocal. So one trick to use is to go into audio effects and just type in glue compressor and just bring in a glue compressor to the return track like that. What we're going to do is side chain that vocal. So just select vocals like that. And we're just going to increase that threshold to about 20%. But you'll see exactly what's going to happen here to the delay. I've got to take a little time. time. A little time to take things over. So the actual vocal's coming through, but the delay is also working, but it's not clashing with the vocals. We can actually just keep tweaking that until we get the sound that we want. So for example, we can increase that threshold a bit more or decrease it. Let's just try again. I've gotta take I've gotta a little take time, time, time. A little time to take things over. And we can reduce the attack so it can actually come in and hit a bit faster, so there's even less clashing. Gotta take a little time, time. A little time to think things over. Now we also want some reverb here on this track, so we're going to send that reverb to the main vocal. I've gotta take a little time, time. A little time to think things over. You can tell by listening to it that the reverb is also clashing with the vocal. So what we simply need to do is just take that glue compressor, which is already side-chaining the vocals, copy it and paste it into the reverb track. And then you won't have that clashing on the reverb return track as well. I've gotta take a little time, time. A little time to think, to think, to think. So now because you've completely eliminated all of that sort of clashing with the vocals, you can actually take some reverbs with longer tails and use them with some confidence. So for example, let's just remove this reverb and just go in and type in shimmer. So this will be one of the presets that comes with Ableton, shimmery. Just drag that in. This has got a much longer tail. We can increase the reverb, but we're not going to be too worried because it's just not going to impact the actual vocals themselves. But outside of the vocals, you'll have reverb. So let's just take a listen. I've got to take a little time, time. A little time to think things over. Better read between the lines In case I need it when I'm older so that's really cool, but you can do other things because you've got a return track going here. You can, for example, go onto the reverb track and then you can select an EQ. Let's take an EQ free, bring that in like that. And say in the EQ free, we can just reduce all of the low end. Let's just take a listen to how it sounds. And actually we can add some high end sparkle. I've gotta take a little time. time. Let's increase some high end there. A reduce little the time to think things over. Add some high frequencies, reduce the low frequencies. Better read between the lines. So what do you guys think? If you like tips like this, please subscribe and follow.